For today's recipe, Link will be joined by IQ, Gastro Bob, and Yar, Captain Cook. And backed up as always by Guinea Page and the Animal Crackers. For today's recipe, we're making stuffed baked potatoes. And we're gonna be using russet potatoes. When you're at the grocery store, you've probably noticed there's all kinds of potatoes. Some are pink, some are round, some are the shape of fingers, some are even purple. Russet means reddish brown, which is the same color as this type of potato. Gastro Bob, oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, please. You got it, Link. It'll be ready for you when you finish scrubbing those russets. I love crispy skins on my potatoes, so I'm gonna make sure they're thoroughly dry by wiping each one down with this clean kitchen cloth. Then, I'm gonna thoroughly coat each potato in olive oil. Sprinkle a little bit of salt. Then, before putting them in the oven, I'm gonna use this fork to poke some holes in my potato. Not just poking the skin, but also the potato as well. Hmm, I wonder why we poke holes in our baked potatoes. This should not have happened. Another victim of the uh, exploding potato. There's no mystery as to why a potato explodes. It's science, pure and simple. Think of the skin of a potato as a balloon that you filled with air. When you put the potato in the oven and bake it, the moisture inside the potato heats up, boils, and turns into steam. Steam expands and pushes from the inside out, just like if you were to blow too much air into a balloon. All that pressure has nowhere to go, so if you don't make a few holes for the steam to escape, the steam builds up and you have... Imprisoned steam wanting to get out of that potato. There were a few times as a culinary crime fighter, I actually want something to escape. So when it comes to baking potatoes, that steam has got to get out. And the way to prevent that is by pricking the skin and the flesh of a raw potato. There is no worse food behaving badly than a food explosion. Think of the mess in the oven. Think of that potato now going into the compost instead of on your plate. Don't be guilty of food waste. The potatoes are now baked. They roasted for about an hour, and I let them cool so they're easier to handle when we scoop the insides out of their skin. Now, we're not making regular baked potatoes, we're making stuffed baked potatoes. So here's what you'll need. Potato skins, one teaspoon of fine sea salt, half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, half a cup of melted butter, four slices of cooked bacon, diced, four finely chopped green onions, one cup of Greek yogurt, one cup of grated cheddar cheese, and our scoop potato. The mise en place, French for everything in its place. Link has got all his ingredients, washed, peeled, chopped, sliced or diced, poured, measured, and ready to go so we can get right into the game of cooking. For amateurs and professionals in the kitchen, it's a smart play to be organized. Combine all of your ingredients into a bowl, except for the cheese, and blend well. Now, 
Divide the mixture evenly amongst your potato halves. Sprinkle with cheese. Use about two tablespoons of cheese on each potato. Now, they're ready to go back into the oven. Still set at 400 degrees, Link. Thanks, Gastro Bob. For about 15 minutes. I believe there's a baking debacle in progress. When there is baking, there must be a beat. Potato topic for today. Exactly, what is a potato? Survey says potatoes are our top five favorite vegetable, but there is controversy as to whether potatoes are a vegetable. Suffice to say, they are a starchy vegetable, although technically potatoes are a type of tuber. That's because potatoes have stems and grow underground. Link, look at me pirate booty. <laughs> I mean, uh, it was given to me, legally and such. Anyway, anyway, could you use any of these to make any of your tasty baked potatoes? Thanks, Captain Cook. But these are boiling potatoes, not baking potatoes. What's the difference, matey? There are thousands of varieties of potatoes grown around the world. All potatoes contain starch. Potato starch is made up of two different compounds, amylose and amylopectin. Rusted potatoes tend to have more amylose, which absorbs water and breaks down easily. That's what makes them fluffy when mashed or baked. Boiling potatoes tend to be mostly made of amylopectin. That helps the potato retain its shape when boiled. I can tell the difference between a russet and a boiling potato, but what about all the other potatoes at the store? How do you know if they're waxy or starchy? With science and observation, when you bring your potatoes home from the store, just scratch their skin with your thumb. If the skin is very thin and easily scratches off, it's probably waxy. Red skin is thin skin, waxy. Fingerling is finger scratched, waxy. Long white potato has a thicker skin, starchy. Hmm. What could have made these odd, tiny little scratches on these poor, defenseless potatoes? Now that our eight servings of baked potatoes bake, it's time to tidy up! Let's tidy up, 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 let's tid
or stuff them with other fillings like uh, onions and mushrooms and vegetarian chili or even an egg. Boom goes the dynamite, but not in the gastroblast kitchen. By pricking the potatoes before baking, Blink made a defensive play, ensuring there'd be no upset of explosions. Exploding potatoes, that is. Not so fast, my friend, because here's something else to chew on. Not all potatoes are the same. Because of their levels of amulose or amulopectin starch, some potatoes are better for baking. It's down to the scrimmage line now. I can't wait to stuff myself with one of Link's stuffed baked potatoes. But whether baked, roasted, mashed, boiled, or French fried, potatoes are simply and irrefutably delicious. Mmm! Delicious! I had a gastro blast making stuffed baked potatoes with you today. See you next time!